work like just for shits and giggles i was just like yeah, i don't know if i'm gonna go and she was just like janine fuck you Hi guys welcome back to my channel so excuse the fact that i look a little nuts right now i literally just walked inside and like changed a little bit so i can sit down here and talk to you guys now listen today i went and got a pedicure and honestly i am very very happy the lady who i got i got i went with two of my friends from work and the lady who i got she looked like she was new because while we were doing it even though they were spanish Somebody was sitting there and kind of coaching her through not what she was doing because obviously she knew what she was doing but like how she was doing it. And so there are little imperfections but it's not the end of the world. And when I was done I still, I tipped her $5 because of the, the imperfections but the service in all was $40 so I gave her $45 in total. But honestly I really really love how my nails look. They look very pearly white i'm gonna show them to you guys in a minute pearly white and i'm just happier with them and i got gel polish because i feel like that is gonna last longer i have a clip when i was walking home just now and talking to you guys a little bit and i'm gonna insert that hair so you guys can watch that hi guys so i'm going home i just left the pedicure well i didn't just leave like i'm just getting home i think we left sometime after five and I'm literally just like walking down the block and everything. But it was really, really good. I didn't want to be um, the person who had like, you know, a camera all the way up in the people's face and whatever. Because it was my first time going there. I don't know them like that. And I think it was just a little insensitive, you know. And I don't know. I just don't like the look of it. Like they're down there. I'm up here. I don't know. Maybe if, when we continue going there and I get more comfortable. It was one of my friends that recommended us there and all three of us went there and it was a really good vibe but i did not record like i have little snippets that i posted on my instagram i'll insert it here so you guys can see But overall, I'm very pleased with the service and I went with two of my good friends from work and we have decided that one was already going very regularly. Like they're on like first name basis and everything. The people know her and she recommended us and me and my other friend, we are very, very happy with it. And we're very picky about our nails because we normally do them ourselves. And trust me, it was a one. If I didn't have my nails already done, I would have gotten them done this evening, but I was really, I loved it. So we've decided that we're going to go back once per month and do that as a treat to ourselves because we don't really do anything else outside of work. We can't go anywhere right now because of the state of the world. And we honestly don't do anything else outside of work. Tomorrow, the one that goes there regularly, her name is Dimple. Tomorrow is her birthday. So, you know, this was very nice and we bonded and everything and took shots of bourbon. I took one shot of the bourbon and like had a mixed thing of it and... I feel like it's very strong, but I like it. You know, so you never know. Bourbon might be my new drink. So I have that and I had like two cups after the shot. I had like two cups and, you know, I'm feeling good. So I feel like I'm going to just have some wine to kind of simmer down and everything, especially because tomorrow is my day off. So I'm very happy about that in itself. But um, yeah, I'm home and guys, my feet feel so good right now. Like, oh my gosh, they feel so good. She did a pretty good job, except for, like, the small imperfections. You know how when you get your nails done, like, around this part has, like, like a little spillage of, like, nail polish? That's the imperfections that I'm talking about. So you know that it's nothing too crazy. But I'm going to take a little drink or two or a few drinks. I think I might have sorrow. and not wine yeah i think i'll do that and um you know just to kind of wind down and then i'm going to shower in a little bit closer to the time where i'm ready to go to bed i mean i could shower right now because it's not like i'm doing anything else for the rest of the night but i'm so so happy that i actually went because initially when my friend was telling me about it i'm just like 
yeah i don't really know and today when i went to work like just for shits and giggles i was just like yeah, i don't know if i'm gonna go and she was just like janine fuck you <laughs> she was dumb annoyed but i was just being funny i knew that i was gonna go but it was really really good and now i'm home and i don't have anything else to do other than just to catch up on some youtube videos which i don't think there's that much to catch up on and just chill so i'm gonna pour myself a nice little glass of my sorrel and then um just chill but i think i will see you guys probably tomorrow so i'm off tomorrow so we'll see if i do anything tomorrow and if i do then you guys will come along because anything that i had scheduled mm, maybe i have something to do tomorrow okay we'll do that tomorrow but um anything else that i had scheduled to do this week was to like go buy the scrubs and stuff like that and i did that yesterday so i really knocked that out of the way so i'm very very happy and this is what my hair looked like after you know, after I've taken the, the, after the curls have naturally fallen on their own. So it's like messy, it's body wave, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm about to go because I feel like I'm talking too much and that might be as a result of the bourbon. I'm going to insert some of my Insta stories here so you guys can watch too. And, um, yeah. Hello there. I woke up with the worst headache. And I really, really hate that because it really puts a damp on my day from like early. So I woke up and then waking up at four o'clock again, 420 to be exact. And then sleeping for like 30 minutes and having to like wake up at five o'clock again. Like my sleep was just not consistent last night and I'm very annoyed. Oh, me and the sleep these days. And what's crazy is yesterday... I went on the avenue for so long, so I couldn't even sleep after I left work. I also spent $101 yesterday, and I need it back, okay? But um, I went and I got some new scrubs, and what else did I buy? My friend, this little thing that she decided that she wanted to be her Christmas gift, which was so cute, so I didn't really care. But um, my head still hurts. That's no fun. Anyways, I'm kind of half ready for work. Half ready meaning chances are I don't want to go. However, the highlight of my day today should be the fact that my friends and I are going to go get pedicures after work. So that should be fun. And that should definitely cost me. I'm also really wondering if the place that we're going, I could pay with my card. Because I really never have that much cash on me. I can't be the only person who is like this. If I do have cash... It's like $20 or like $30 max, but I never really have more than that on me because everywhere I go and everything that I'm buying, I am able to pay with my card. And I don't think the pedicure is going to be $30. And the only reason why I rarely ever have cash is because once I know that I have it there, I might see something that I want to buy with it. And while I'm very disciplined... I'm disciplined in the sense where I'm not going to be putting my card everywhere and I'm not going to be using my card for a certain amount. And so if I just have $20, I know that that's all I'm going to spend. So chances are if there's something that's more than $20, i am not going to buy it. This all sounds so bad. I promise I'm very disciplined. I've also been doing the weirdest thing lately. So this morning when I woke up at... Okay, when I woke up at 1 o'clock, I felt like I was starving. And so I ate an apple. And then I went back to sleep. And then when I woke up at 4.20, I also felt like I was hungry again. Because yesterday I ate dinner at 6 p.m. And I felt like that was kind of early. And so when I woke up at 4.20, I felt like I was starving. So I had. And the way how I wanted to make sure that I stayed asleep, that I had a snackable at 4.20. And I had that thing half asleep. Like my eyes were still closed and I was just laying down. It was so bad. Oh, God. I'm really going through it. I say all this to say, if you wake up at 4.20 a.m. and feel the need to eat, it's just a feeling. Don't give in. Because you're probably going to have remnants of whatever it is that you ate at 4 a.m. in the bed half asleep on the bed for the rest of the day.